gonna take a fall around on a big jet plane. Hey, 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 hey. G'day, guys. My name's Dave Tran, and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play a big jet plane by Angus and Julia Stone. For the basics of this song, you will need your guitar in standard tuning, and you will need a capo on the first fret of your guitar. If you want to master chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Now, as I mentioned, you will need your capo on the first fret. That is the recorded version. But if you don't have a capo, then you can just play the same chords. You'll be down a semitone. But if you're just singing by yourself and playing a guitar, that won't matter too much. But if you do want to play along to the actual recording, you will need a capo on first fret. Let's jump straight into the intro and it's really easy. We just have four chords here. We have a C, then we have an A minor, and we have an E minor, and an E minor again. Now for the intro and the first verse, we're actually going to have these chords really stripped back. You're just going to be plucking the bass note of every chord. So for the C, it'll be this fifth string. For the A minor, it'll be the fifth string. And for the E minor, it'll be the sixth string. And you're going to be palm muting it as well. So you take the fleshy bit of your palm and you rest it lightly on the edge of the bridge, too far in and you won't hear anything, but right on the edge and you'll still hear the note. We'll be palm muting each bass note with eight down plucks. So it'll sound like this. When we get to our first verse, we have two lines of chords. The first line of chords is identical to the intro. Our second line of chords, we replace that last E minor with the G chord. The same thing remains though, we're just focusing on the bass note of every chord. So for the second line of chords, it will sound like this. In the first verse, we're just going to play that first line of chords through three times, and then we play the second line of chords. The chorus has the same chords, except we just play each line through once. And then when we get to the post chorus, we're just playing the intro chords, which is really nice and easy. When we kick into the second verse, we have these same two lines of chords, but we're now going to implement the strumming pattern, which is a really nice and easy down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up and you're just going to play that once for each chord. So the second verse will sound like this. We get to our second chorus and we're just going to continue on with that strumming pattern and we have those chords here which is really nice and easy we have the second post chorus which is just the same as the intro chords but with that strumming pattern and next we get to the bridge now the bridge is nice and easy there's just a four chord chord progression we have an f major seven now to play the f major seven you'll need to have your index finger on the first fret of the second string and you'll leave the first string open middle finger goes on the second fret of the third and then ring and pinky go on the third fret of the fifth and fourth. And your thumb will reach over and hit the first fret of the sixth string. Now you don't necessarily have to hit that, you can go from the fifth string onwards, but it sounds much better if you get that bass note in. So that's F major seven, and then we go to G6. Now the G6 is the same as a G chord, except you lift your pinky finger and let that open E string ring out. And then we have A minor and A minor again. Now the first two times we play through this progression, F major 7 and G6 are just strummed once. Then when we get to the A minor, we have a four down strum strumming pattern played through twice. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The third time, we just keep playing that four down strum strumming pattern and we use that for the F, the G, and the two A minors. And then the fourth time we play through this chord progression, we're gonna change the strumming pattern to eight down strums, and they're faster, so it sounds like one and two and three and four, and, and you play that once for each chord as well. 
So the full bridge will sound like this. After the bridge, we just then have a final chorus and final post-chorus. So now I'll teach you how to play the lead guitar in this song, which is really nice and easy. Now note that the tab up here is all relative to the capo. So when I say 5th fret on the tab, I mean 5th fret relative to the capo. Of course, if you didn't have the capo on, then you just actually play it on the 5th fret. Now to start this riff, we're going to use our pinky finger to slide from the 5th fret of the 2nd string to the 8th fret relative to the capo on the 2nd string. And then we go back down to the 5th fret, back up to the 8th fret, and then we go to the 4th fret of the 3rd string, and then up to the 5th fret. So that first bar. For the second bar, the first three plucks are going to be the same. So we have that slide, 5th fret, 8th fret, but now we're gonna to go to the seventh fret and then down to the fifth fret. The third bar is gonna be the same as the first bar. And then the fourth bar is gonna be the same as the second bar. Except we're gonna add one more note at the end and it's the fourth fret of the third string. But then you slide back up to the fifth fret. And in total this main riff will sound like this. Now that's played in the intro, for the first post-chorus we're only playing the second half of that and for the second post-chorus we don't add that slide at the end. So now I'll be playing through the song in its entirety, I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to and see how you go.
Now this song is really great for beginners because there's a lot of open chord shapes, very minimal bar chords or anything complicated and there's a really nice and easy lead lick to play as well. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Also be sure to subscribe to my second YouTube channel, Guitar Zero to Hero Express, where I upload just the covers of these songs for you to practice along too. If you've enjoyed this, then hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. As always, please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.